So what we need to do now, uh, in order to communicate with our encoder, um, we need uh, some kind of app or program um, which is capable of acting as a serial terminal. Um, in the old days, Windows used to come with Hyper Terminal built in. Uh, it wasn't brilliant, but it did work. Uh, the newer versions of Windows don't come with anything. So we can uh, download from the Internet a free utility, which is called Putty. And if we just go to Google, uh, they've got a funny picture today. Um, do we just type in Putty, P-U-T-T-Y, and hit Enter? The first thing that comes up is the Putty download page. Okay, so we click on that. Um, this takes us to Putty download page. It tells us about what Putty is. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit, there's all the different versions and such. So the one we need is Putty Exe. If we just click on that, it asks us if we want to save the file. We click Save. Okay, and that's done. So we can now click on that, Putty Exe. It asks us again, publisher couldn't be verified. Do we want to continue? Yes, we do. So we click Run. Okay, and there it opens up this window for Putty. Now, um, I've used this before, and I've saved all sorts of different settings down here, um, which obviously, if, if you're using it for the first time, the only one you'll have is default settings. Um, but the important bit is what we need to configure up here. So to talk to our encoder, we need to use Serial. So you've got these various options here. Connection type, you've got RAW, Telnet, R Login, and SSH. But we're going to use Serial. It asks that for the serial line, it gives you COM1. Now, we know that we need to use COM10, because that's what it told us when we installed the driver for our encoder a moment ago. And the speed is 9600. That's correct. That's absolutely fine. So we can just click Open. And straight away, um, it comes up with a message from our encoder saying it's not been configured yet. A MIDI operation is not possible until it's configured. Press Enter for menu. So we press Enter, and there's our menu for our encoder. Um, and we can start configuring it from here onwards.